I'm Gordon Brown. It's auction day. This is what I live for. I just love it. For the last 40 years, I've been hooked on auctions. I can't get enough of them. They're absolutely fascinating. Packed with suspense and drama and full of surprises. Come with me for the stories, the thrills and spills, and some handy hints along the way. This time, fasten your seatbelts for a journey into the world of fast cars. So what's it like to drive? It's terrifying. It's absolutely <laughs> terrifying. I love it. I love it. Boys and their toys. It's going to be sad to see a go. And if she doesn't sell, I won't be too disappointed. And big money. It's probably going to cost around about a million bucks. <laughs> This week's auction is about cutting-edge design and innovative engineering. We're at Motor Classica, an event showcasing the world's finest veteran, vintage and classic motor cars. How amazing! One of the highlights of the event will be when 30 of these fabulous vehicles go under the hammer. You know, I've been to a few auctions in my time, but never anything like this. This is the creme de la creme of motoring history. And you know, it's a real mecca for rev heads and design junkies. Oh, and of course, the seriously wealthy. Over the next three days, 20,000 people will see some of the most desirable cars on the planet. Look at this incredible machine. Basically, it's a, a seat with a jet engine behind it, Project 500. It was made to beat Donald Campbell's speed record. Didn't quite get there. Motor Classica auction have to meet very strict criteria. An auction manager, James Nichols, has been sourcing vehicles for several months. I think to pull 30 cars together of this quality is very rare. I mean, I've done auctions, obviously, before in Australia, and, um, you know, you might get eight great cars, and then eight OK cars, and then you're sort of starting to make up the numbers to make it a viable economic proposition. This, we've just got, there's nothing in the show, in the auction, that I'm ashamed of. There's some really, really great international cars that would grace any motor car auction in the world. Bill's Elfin takes pride of place amongst some of the world's best. James, what kind of buyer would you expect to be interested in a car like this? Well, it's obviously called different to some of the other cars we've got in the exhibition because it's a very specific thing. It's a race car. Yeah. So that immediately narrows down the market and the audience. I've actually taken a lot of guidance from Bill as the owner, um, more than I would normally do, because it's an Elfin, and uh, Bill's the foremost expert in the world on Elfins, sure. so who am I to say no? So I've actually sort of mm. been led by Bill yeah. much more on this. It's a very I, dangerous thing to do. It, it, as we, yeah, that, it is quite... I, quite I, I like a man who knows his place. <laughs> <laughs> Miro is also hoping Motor Classica will give his car maximum exposure to potential buyers with around $200,000 to spend. But what does James think the Speedster is worth? Hey, Miro. Oh, good day, James. How are you? Good Great. to see you. The car's looking fab, isn't it? Yeah, looks really good. like it. Isn't it fantastic in, in this silver? It's a great colour combination. In the restoration, they've done some fabulous things. This carpet is all correct and is really, really nice. And as you know, I looked underneath to check for any, um, any rust or bog or anything. The car's beautiful and clean. The restoration job is superb. It would be slightly better if it was what we call a matching numbers car, right. which is the original, car, the original body with the original chassis with the original engine. But not a problem, really, in my mind. Though. It, it, for a really serious collector, they might look elsewhere or something Slash. like that. So, Miro, I'm sort of estimating it around 165 to 185. Are you happy with that? Look, uh, I'd be happy at that higher end of that range for sure, yeah. I was really pleased with the way that conversation went with Miro. I really am pleased that he's taken my advice on where 
the, the selling range for his car should be. He's not a classic car expert, but he's, you know, that's, you know, he's a bit of a weekend warrior. It's a beautiful car that, you know, it's his only classic car. He's not a collector or anything like that. I just wish it had more paperwork and history to back everything up. A day out from the auction, I know James is extremely busy, but he has agreed to run me through some of the highlights of the auction. It's unbelievable. I just love this mascot. Look at her. You know, everybody knows about the uh, Rolls Royce. Spirit, yeah. yeah, but she's equally beautiful, isn't she? It's a 1908 Mercedes. Don't make the mistake of saying Mercedes Benz. This was before they'd even got to that relationship. So it's yeah. just Mercedes. This car is really important. It's the oldest car, oldest Mercedes in Australia. What's really important about it is it's a very, very early shaft-driven car and one of the oldest shaft-driven cars in the world. Very, very important motor car indeed. It is stunning. One. And the next one I like, Gordon, is over here. This car was bought new in 1935 by the owner who then became, who then later on in his life became Lord Casey, Governor-General of Australia. Wow. Now, not only was he a great politician, but he was also a pretty good car designer. He drew the sketches to his own design and this is his own design. So this car is unique wow. and was bodied in Sydney by uh, Disc and Molyneux. And I can hopefully show you that. And it's down there at the bottom, Disc and Molyneux, Sydney. I'd get this for about 10 grand, would I? Yeah, and a little bit more, maybe. The exciting thing about this Tatra T87 from 1948 is the aerodynamic shape. And it really, it does look like a, you know, a Buzz Lightyear rocket ship so sort of thing. You know, it's, yeah. um, it's amazing. Uh, designed by uh, Han Ledwinka. And Tatra is one of the oldest car companies in the world from out of the, what was uh, Czechoslovakia. A very, very beautiful car and a very, very interesting car. James, thanks very much. I know you're a busy man. Pleasure. I'll let you get on to it. This is definitely one of my picks, a 1969 Lamborghini Miura. This has got Celebrity Plus. Twiggy ordered this from the factory. She chose the colours, this dynamic orange stripe coming through it. She even put her eyelashes in here. Look at that. Look, James told me it drives like a dream. It's got everything. It's just fantastic. It's probably going to cost around about a million bucks, but who cares? Another one of my picks is this 1937 Bugatti, produced by Ettore Bugatti, the son of artist Carlo. The car is hallmarked with artistic qualities passed down from father to son, and is a fabulous like example other auctions I've been to. There are a lot of backroom negotiations going on after the cars have been passed in. James is the go-between, working with the highest bidder and the vendors trying to agree on a price and create Almost a sale for Miro's yeah. auction. And I find him taking Hi. one last look Hi. at Raquel. Hi. Nice to see you too. How are you feeling? Look, uh, mixed emotions at this stage. It's getting close. Sleepless nights? Just the other night, actually. I uh, had a hard time sleeping just thinking about this. Uh, it means a lot to life. you, eh? Uh, yeah, she's played a bit of a part in my life, yes. So it's kind of the end of your single life, isn't it? It's... It's saying that, goodbye to all that. That last little reminder. Yeah, of oh, the fun times. <laughs> no, we can't say that. Can't say that, of course not, of course not. You want to be a part of this, it's a 356, it's the Speedster model, it's a Cabriolet, it's silver in colour, it's got the black interior. Very, very sexy, sporty motor car. A hundred starts, thank you sir, and away we this go. This is a tense time for Miro and his wife Frances. Dollar rise of that money, it's an extremely low start. It's $100,000 now. Oh, it's $100,000 Where's our telephone better now? Yeah. $100,000 now, but it's 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 $
going once, going twice, third and final call at $130,000 only. I'll refer the bid for you, sir, at $130,000. Your bid no. is today at $130,000. Not the uh, uh, result I'd hope for, but... No. Oh, I see. I think see the right to the Wow. It's pretty cheap. Well pretty cheap. Well yeah. See what happens in the negotiation. Okay. Yeah. We're going to have to make some, uh, it's been meticulously yeah, some heavy decision making is going to have to happen. Yeah. Very, Do some very, talking, very clean Yeah. Oh, wow. Of course. What do we, oh, what do, we do, James? Sit and hold tight. Sit and hold tight. Sit and hold tight. Sit and hold tight. While the auction seems like it's over, James has already talked to the highest bidder to try and sell Miro's Porsche. Looks like there's some negotiations going on. We'll have to wait and see. In the end, James does manage to sell the Porsche, but at $140,000, that's quite a bit under what Miro wanted. Oh, I guess I'm a little bit disappointed we um, didn't get to where we wanted to. Um, that car means such a lot to Miro and his wife, and it, I think it also means quite a lot to sell that car for their future as a young couple. And um, it was really a hard struggle. The, the person who's bought that car um, has done incredibly well. They've got, they've stolen it really. I mean, they've done. But Miro and and his wife have got back what they wanted. It was the minimum of what they wanted, but we got it there. Yeah, the idea was to um, see if we can uh, get enough to sort of have a bite at a hole in a house or something like that. But you know, if it has to be something a little bit small like a caravan, so be it. It'll be much cosier. Well, that's the end of the auction. A lot of the big ticket items didn't sell. Hey, maybe there were too many tyre kickers. Now, Bill, he didn't sell his racing car. I don't really think he minded too much. Mira sold his Porsche, which was brilliant. That's the end of the series, but I'll see you in another auction room soon. At last! Look, I'm colour-coordinated! <laughs>